اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر چلڈرین سو ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ اذان اینڈ ہاؤ ڈیڈ اٹ اسٹارٹڈ وی ڈیلی ہیئر اذان فائیو ٹائمس اے ڈے سو ڈیڈ یو ایور تھنک وائی ڈو وی ہیو اذان We have to think over everything we come across. We should know the whole information about anything which is associated with us. Yes, Adhan is associated with all the Muslims and we, all, we are also Muslims. So it's our responsibility to know about it. So let me tell you, Adhan is a call for prayer. And children, what is prayer? It's an act of worship. It is a pillar of Islam. It is a dua. It's thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything He has blessed us with. It's a key to paradise. It makes us come more close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is our Lord, who is our creator. And Allah ordained five daily prayers for us. And it's very, very important for us. We should always focus on the important things of life. Allah gave us such wonderful parents in this life. Sun, moon, stars, gifts, happiness, choice, chocolates, ice creams, nice dresses, good food and hidden gifts. And sometimes surprises for the future too. So many things are stored for us. He's been blessing us, blessing us, blessing us and inshallah he will bless us more. We should always thank him and praise him for everything we are blessed with. We can become more close. We can become his favorite. You know how? By following his instructions. One of the important instructions is Salah. We must never miss Salah. So Adhan is pronounced loudly. Even if we are busy by hearing Adhan, we become alert and we stand for our prayers. We go for our prayers. But how did it start it? Prophet Muhammad wasallam, he used to live in Mecca. There the number of Muslims was small. But when Prophet Muhammad wasallam, arrived in Medina, the number of Muslims started to increase. Prophet Muhammad wasallam, he built Masjid, Masjid al-Nabawi to offer salah regularly. But there was a need to inform the prayer times so that everyone can offer their prayers. Everyone started discussing and Rasulullah wasallam, he asked the Sahabas, to suggest him the ways they can take to inform Muslims about the call for prayer. So some sahabas, they suggested that Muslims, just like Jews, should blow a horn to announce the time for the salah. Others said the Muslims should ring bells as Christians do in their churches. Some said that the Muslims, like the fire worshippers, kindle a fire to call people to pray. But Prophet Muhammad wasallam, he was not satisfied with any of these ideas. He waited to hear a better idea or to receive guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what happened is, one day a sahabi, Abdullah ibn Zaid, came to Prophet Muhammad wasallam and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I had a beautiful dream last night. Prophet Muhammad wasallam he asked Zaid, what was the dream you saw? Zaid answered, I have seen that a man wearing green garment taught me the words of Azan and advised me to call people to pray with these words. He then recited the words of Azan. The words were beautiful and full of meaning. Prophet Muhammad wasallam, he recognized that the dream of Zaid was true. He asked Zaid to teach the words to Azan, words of Azan to Bilal. And Bilal became a Muaddin. One who gives Adhan is called a Muaddin. Bilal stood up and called the Adhan. The voice of Bilal resounded throughout the Medina. People came running to Masjid al Nabawi. So we should also hasten our steps for Salah. We should rush to offer Salah to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our ibadah. Okay, children, now tell me the one who calls Adhan is called. Muaddin. Who was the first person to call Adhan? Bilal radiallahu anhu. 
and children. You should never forget listening to Adhan and to respond back with the same words, affirming that, yes, we believe in it and we bear witness. We should always offer our prayer at the right time in Jamaat to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who blesses us always. Alhamdulillah.